Yo, this is vlog number 15. Hopefully you've seen 14. If not, it's totally fine. You can continue to watch it. So, as I previously stated in the last vlog, the boys, Will Blaze, LB, Lightning Bryant, and B Double E, Benji, the Executioner of Excellence. The goal was for them to fight for Waco and be in the actual world finals. Um, which is held this year and we trained vigorously to get them to the point along with them captain Jaden who's previously won two medals in the wacko junior world finals was a part of this journey he as well had to train the vigorous hours so what I did just to get them going because hey we had to cut weight the boys all had to cut weight to meet their division requirements and i'm gonna tell you it's not an easy task if you ever had to diet and you were ever a competitor you know how it's a serious thing it's it takes maturity to even diet in the first place but it really ultimately has that takes that discipline for someone to reject their urges and to continue to do what's necessary to, to achieve a goal and for adults because the maturity level should be there it's a lot easier but for a child asking a child to cut out sweets and sugars and all this other stuff just to cut weight is not easy so you got to take your hats off to them and i'm gonna say um i know when i eventually when i initially introduced the idea to their parents their parents were a little apprehensive to it at first um, but once they saw how necessary it was for the boys to do it and the bare goal, they were all on board. And I'm going to tell you, the boys, all four of them, couldn't have done it without the support of their parents. Cutting out the sweets and all the after night, at night snacks and all the sugar and all that kind of stuff. I mean, the sodas, everything. Um, so basically what we did was the first month, I didn't record their weight. I, I didn't want them to gain insecurities about it. So I just told them, hey, month number one, which was December, I want you guys to start cutting out sweets, start less, don't eat less can or eat less candy, no sodas, you know, little by little, little by little, either, either a soda every two days or just a little things there because you can't just go cold turkey. You got to. You got to take baby steps to get to your goal. And by week, or excuse me, month two, which was the January month, uh, they we were full in force. It was a diet. The kids were on it. We were cut. They were cutting weight, and pretty quickly, I upped the practices to work the cardio like crazy. We started working not just not just the two extensive days where we would do four hours one day and then another four hours another day we upped it to four days a week um which were the only days we had available and if we had an extra day available we go five days a week and those hours were extensive these were extensive trainings where they were just cutting weight like crazy i had them running uh with the other students uh, it was just a lot and i'm gonna tell you they rose to the occasion and they did what they had to do as you can see, their weights they had to cut is pretty serious. I mean, Brian, I think was probably the most impressive one um, for him to go from that to that and it's pretty crazy. And to be honest with you, the month in December, he weighed more than that. He was actually 115. So, I mean, gosh, when you talk about determination, that's another level of it and he's gonna be rewarded for it for sure as as you guys will see um yeah so once again it's it was a different journey and the boys had to do all that before we even got to fly out to the tournament and the next vlog i'll actually show you that part and you guys will see um just a follow-up so continue to watch follow this journey thank you for supporting peace out